Morning everybody, um, I'm Gavin Wright. Normally I work at Dover Castle for English Heritage as one of the property stewards there. Today um, I've got the opportunity to be here uh, at the Wildwood Trust uh, at Wildwood and I'm in the chuff enclosure uh, where the Kentish chuffs, uh, the resident adult pair Cordelia and King uh, our resident and the reason that I'm here today um, is uh, really exciting because uh, in the next few months we're going to have um, a small aviary um, and some of these birds at Dover Castle uh, where the public will be able to uh, see these very iconic uh, attractive birds which uh, were resident in East Kent uh, until uh, the 19th century um, and certainly would have been around the Dover Castle area on the cliff pastures there. I'm also here with Judy Dunn. Judy is one of the uh, senior keepers here at Wildwood and in the last couple of days she's been showing me how to care for these birds um, and especially uh, how to prepare their food. Um, the chuffs, what is it normally in their diet that you prepare? For our chuffs here in captivity they get a, a mixture of um, boiled egg, good quality mince, uh, a small portion of uh, breadcrumbs, brown bread, and um, something called an uh, insectivorous mix, which is kind of like crushed shells of, of a variety of insect species. And this is all mixed together to give a breadcrumb consistency. Now, obviously, this isn't a diet that the birds would have in the wild. They're quite specialist feeders, uh, mainly of insectivorous um, animals found in short grass on pasture land uh, in the wild. But obviously we can't uh, give them exact replication of that in captivity. So this is second best for them and it's, it's a pretty good diet for them. With the introduction of these uh, fantastic uh, chuffs, um, we actually then add to the whole list of all the British crows that are resident or at least very often seen at Dover Castle. So uh, day to day we have lots of jackdaws, we have magpies, we have jays, we have the odd rook going over, carrion crows most days, and uh, really fascinatingly in the last few years, ravens as well. So that adds to the whole collection there at Dover Castle. We've got lots of birds and animals as well as the historic property.